Hey everyone, TTT here. Now, first off, let's get the lesson and the likely attack on our town dealt with before anything else. Next lesson, let's go. Lesson number 10. In this lesson, we are going to learn 5 kanji characters pictured above. We'll go through them one by one. Here's our first kanji for the day. Oh. King or ruler, no konyomi reading and O oh for onyomi, written with four strokes. The kanji O oh is not normally represented with the konyomi reading. When you read O, oh, your best bet is to use the onyomi reading O. Oh. The shape looks like the kanji 10 for heaven. Standing on ground used the saying the king came down from heaven to rule. Next one. Quite similar as you can see. Tama. Jewel or ball. Tama for konyomi and yoku for onyomi, written with five strokes. The shape of Tama uses the kanji O for king. It looks as though the king is holding a jewel. We've already seen this one. Maru. Yen or circle. Maru or Maru for konyomi and N for onyomi, written with four strokes. The shape of N resembles a circle like a yen coin. Oh. Large big O for konyomi and Dai or Tai for onyomi, written with three strokes. The shape of Dai resembles a person stretching out to be as big as possible. And the last one. Chi. Little or small. Chi or ko for konyomi and sho for onyomi, written with three strokes. The shape of ko looks, uh, looks like a line that has been split into two small parts. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. You now know five more kanji along with the English meanings and the pronunciations. Well done. And the quiz. Yen or circle? Konyomi, that should be... O. Onyomi of that one should be Sho. King, ruler, and the konyomi of jewel, Tama. Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on the way to mastering kanji. And, yep, there's the attack, as expected. Okay, first we have tree wood, key. Next is a five. Go. Go. A little small. Go. Sure. And left. Hidari. Hidari. There we have tree wood again. Key. Oh. Sweet sun. Me. 
King Ruler. Oh. Oh. And below down she down. Ka. Stone. Ishi. Kok. Sweet sun. Mi. King ruler. Oh. Oh. And left. Hidabi. Sa. I must say so, the turn attacks are getting quite stale. King Ruler, oh. I mean, that's like the fifth time now, I think. Spirit Mind Air, Key. Evening, you. You. Uh, Wayne, Ame. Ama. And large, big. Uh, okay, or die. Oh. Uh, better heal before the last one. Now where is it? Down here. Oh, what? King Ruler. Oh. Life birth. Uh. See. Nama. You nen. Nen. Sky empty. Sora. Ku. And large big die. Oh. Alright, now the boss. No, it's a boss. They're not even coming up with any new dialogue. Okay, first we have big die. Second is white, Migi. Jewel or Bo, Dama, Tama, uh, Nine, Hu, Ku, uh, Field, Ooh, I'm not sure where that one was. No, that's stand. I think it was ta. Ah, that is ta den. Den. What's field petty? And small ko. Ko. Next is Swain. Ame. Ame. And go five. Itsu. And there we go. Alright, uh, let's do the affections, affection events next. First with Elliot and then with Hana-sensei. 
I was almost living in this town is too dreadful if you ask me. I'm tired of studying. Maybe we can go somewhere and fight and take our mind off things. Sure. Oh, that's you, our leader. Huh, <laughs> just so you know, you weren't my first, first choice to command us. But I'll follow you for now. Just point the finger and I'll shoot. Are you still here? Is there something you want from me? Look, if you're trying to make a new friend, I'm not your guy. Your brother Frederick or Puya. You're not giving up on me? Fine, I'll talk to you for a while. You're annoying, you know that? I keep asking myself how we all wound up in this mess. I mean, seriously, what the heck has happened to Japan? When I came here, I just wanted to get away from London. I was too cooped up there. I need to get out. It's funny how things work out. Now I'm fighting for my life every day. Fighting monsters that simply should not, be, should not exist. <laughs> Even so, this is still better than being at home. Your bond with Elliot has grown stronger. Okay, and Hana Sensei. We're going to eat. Sure, why not? I have to say, I'm surprised you wanted to spend time with me again. After last time, when I was so uncertain, I wanted to say that things have gotten a bit better. I've come to terms with what's going on. I know that you're all relying on me, so I'm going to keep doing my best. Anyway, did I ever tell you that I always wanted to be an artist? I kind of fell into teaching by accident. When I was studying at college, I'd spent so much time drawing pictures in my textbooks instead of completing my work. <laughs> Does it surprise you to know that I used to slack off in class? You never would have guessed it now that I'm a teacher, right? I drew pictures and daydreamed about becoming a famous manga artist. I wanted to become someone that could create wonderfully illustrated stories and share them with the world. But after a while my college life became too busy. I stopped having time to draw, I had to knuckle down and study hard to keep up with the other students. After a lot of work, my grades began to pick up. Some of my teachers noticed how much I had improved. Eventually, I got to the top of my class, but I hadn't picked up a sketch pad in over a year. My dreams of becoming a manga artist were truly over. When I graduated with the highest score, I was encouraged to pursue teaching. I didn't know what else to do, I simply went along with it. I took some more courses, years went by, here we are. Looking back, I do regret giving up on my dream. But then again, if I didn't take up teaching, I never would have met you. I guess I'm torn about where I ended up in life. I'm here now, but what did I sacrifice to get here? I mean, you could still take up drawing again as a hobby. Even in this place. Okay, now we should still have some building materials. Hello, how are your studies coming along? You want to build a library here? The library allows you to study new vocabulary, le vocabulary lessons. Hmm, vocabulary, interesting. Let's take a look. Hello, I have a new vocabulary lesson ready for you. Would you like to study? Mm, no. Let's do this some other time. Let's see, how much do we still have? We still have a decent bit. Hello, are you going on adventures today? You want to build a fountain? Mm, well, that doesn't quite seem useful yet. And do I have enough weed orbs? I do. But first we can do the affection event. Yo, I've always been a small town girl, so I feel right at home here. So we should hang out, we can kick back on the grass and watch the clouds overhead. Sure thing. Man, do I love this little town of ours. It reminds me a little bit of home, a 
small, the people are friendly, and the fresh air smells so wonderful. It sure beats the big city. Places like Tokyo scare me to bits. So many bright lights, so much traffic, so many loud noises. Ugh, how can people live somewhere like that? <laughs> you must think of me as a scared little country girl, huh? Well, that's a bit true. But I came to Japan to face some of those fears. If I'm going to be an adult now, I need to get used to live in places bigger than my hometown. I grew up in this tiny little fishing village in New Zealand. Everyone there is so nice, and we had all we needed, so I never had a reason to venture out. But when I finished school, some of my friends admitted they couldn't wait to leave. They took up to faraway places, and I missed them all so much. I started to wonder if there's more out there in, in the world, more than I could see from my tiny little town, and that thought scared me. So I decided to challenge myself. I picked the busiest and most exciting country I could think of, Japan and booked a flight. I never expected to end up back in a little town like this, fighting to save the country. <laughs> a wheat field. Increase the amount of food we can produce. I'm sure that's important. Wheat field complete. Oh hey, I've been harvesting the wheat. It's going pretty well, thanks for asking. Takes time to harvest this stuff, come back later. So, do we get more wheat orbs from this or something? Maybe. Let's see. We still have quite a few regular orbs. Should be able to upgrade something. One of these. The shrine or the dormitory? Let's upgrade the shrine. It also to receive temporary blessings to enhance the combat abilities. Actually, let's see what does the dormitory do. Oh. It didn't even say. Well, I guess upgraded dormitory. Dormitory it is then. If nothing else, we'll have softer beds, I suppose. Why is there so technologically advanced stuff in here? Where is it coming from? We'll eventually be able to enter the rooms, apparently. That's interesting. Hmm, we might still be able to upgrade the forge. Yeah, okay. That probably just means we can now purchase higher tier stuff. Yeah, oh, that's some um, really expensive stuff. Jeez. I'm not even able to buy all of it yet. Well, anyway. I think that's all for this time. So, see you guys next time with a new lesson. Until then, bye bye.